My name is Curtis Farron. I am the lead geologist here at Canada Nickel. I work under the direct supervision of Bill McRae, uh, the senior geologist. And today I'm going to go through a typical day here at the Canada Nickel Core Shack. We receive the core through that large door behind me and we lay it out on the rack and one of the geologists, um, including myself, looks through the core. We look at mineralization, alteration, and we try to determine if the hole that we are currently drilling is worth to continue drilling or if we need to stop the hole based on the mineralization mostly. Uh, we then relay that information to Toronto to let them know. Once that's done, our Geotechnicians will take the core and prepare it for the geologist to then go and log the core. All right, so once the core has been prepped and ready for the geologist, that is then laid down here on the core benches in rows of four, and our geologists will take their own measurements of the core. They will look at things like mineralization, alteration, fault zones, they will get estimates of the mineral percentage. They will look at the, the quality of the rock and um, determine where we would like to sample the rock. So once they're ready to sample, they will draw on the core from the from and the to for the sample. Um, and then they will put in a sample tag into the core box. Uh, once that is done, they'll wet the core and we'll take a picture so that we have that in our archive. After that's done and all of the information has been collected, it is then put onto the rack beside me. And from there, we'll go over to the core cutting room at the next step of the core prep process. So once the core has been cut and it's logged and it's ready to be sampled, it comes into the core uh, cutting room here and our core cutters will take it and put it into the core saw. They'll split it in half, so one half goes into a sealed bag. The other half goes into the box here for archiving purposes. If we need to look at the core after, we can, we can have a look at it. And then that, those sealed bags are sent to the lab here in Timmins. Once we get the results of the samples we sent off to the lab, we can have a second look at the core and we will mark the core up with values of the assays, whether it be nickel or platinum or palladium. And then we have an, a record of what the assay was. And if we need to pull it out to view later on to compare to new samples, we're able to do that. And that's core processing. <laughs>